Well, it's about damn time Kyle Busch decided on what he's going to drive in 2023, and that team is Richard Childress Racing. 15 years of driving for Joe Gibbs Racing has come to an end, and to be honest, it's shocking. I always thought that Kyle Busch was going to retire with Joe Gibbs Racing. Even when Mars announced that they wasn't going to be returning with Joe Gibbs Racing and leave NASCAR altogether, I thought he wasn't going to go anywhere. They'll find a sponsor, get him resigned, and then they'll be good to go. Nope, that wasn't the case at all. Now, for months, we've been hearing about how Toyota want to keep Kyle Busch and saying things like, it would be foolish for us not to get Kyle resigned, and we don't want to race against a pissed off Kyle Busch. Well, they probably been capping when telling the media all of that because when Kyle Busch made his announcement, things started to come out about how Joe Gibbs racing and Toyota, well, they never actually tried to keep Kyle Busch. During the media breakout sessions, Kyle was presented with a question of, were you informed that 18 was not an option for you next year? And Kyle replied, yes, I was. Then Kyle had this quote right here about JGR and Toyota. Apparently, they got other irons in the fire, maybe other sponsors for other drivers, and that's just the road they're going down. This absolutely makes it clear that JGR and Toyota didn't make a full-on effort to get Kyle resigned. They just let him walk. It's like once Mars sponsorship went away, they pretty much said, screw it. We moving on to someone else, and that someone else is Ty Gibbs, who is the grandson of Joe Gibbs. Ty Gibbs is a top prospect, he's really talented, and in this situation, it looks like family is coming first. I definitely do think Ty Gibbs will be successful in Cup, but to let a 60-time Cup winner walk away just to bring Ty Gibbs up is a mistake. Why couldn't Joe Gibbs wait for Truex to retire after 2023 and then slot Ty Gibbs in into the 19 in 2024? Obviously, Joe Gibbs wants to see his grandson in a cup car while he's still living, so he didn't want to wait until 2024 and instead kick Kyle Busch to the curb and Kyle found himself on the outside looking in. And some people will make the argument that, well, he letting Kyle go because he's declined and only scored four wins since 2020. And yeah, Kyle has been off a little bit from what we usually accustomed to seeing out of him. This is a guy that usually gets four to eight wins a year and Within the past few years, he's only gotten one to two wins. A decline is obvious, but he's not out there running like shit. It's not like he's on a multiple year winless streak and not running in the top 10 in these races. Even during this low period in his career, he's still far from being bad. I definitely think Kyle's going to have a late career resurgence. And for Joe Gibbs, Kyle Busch won't be doing that driving for him. Instead, it's going to be at RCR. Joe Gibbs Racing is going to struggle in the next few years. It's probably not going to be next year, but the year after that, it's probably going to be a struggle. Martin Truex is probably going to retire after 2023. Denny Hamlin isn't getting any younger. Ty Gibbs, if he gets put in 18, which he likely will, has a tall learning curve. And then Christopher Bell is still coming into his own. I'm not saying they're going to be terrible, but they're not going to be the top team to beat. They probably going to be like Hendrick Motorsports from 2017 to 2019. They'll get wins, but they're not going to be the team that dominates, I think. This is why I say that Joe Gibbs Racing has made a big mistake. This is just insane to think about. Yeah, Ty Gibbs is family and he's cheaper, but damn. Like, Joe couldn't wait one more year and see if Truex retired after 2023? That's what I would have done. I feel like JGR and Toyota letting Kyle walk is going to come back and bite them in the ass. And it's going to be weird seeing them not be the dominant team because they've been top notch for so long. This is just a prediction. I can end up being wrong. But from what I'm seeing, I don't think this is going to be good for them for the next couple of years. It's just crazy because Joe Gibbs has a history of letting great talents get away from him. He let Bobby Labonte walk forced Matt Kenseth into retirement until he came back, then retired, and then came back again, and then finally called it quits. He gave up on Suarez and Eric Jones quickly. He gave away Byron to Rick Hendrick. I could just go on about how Joe Gibbs has let great talent slip through his fingers. We're going to see how this play out for them. I'm happy for Kyle Busch and Richard Childress. I think they will be competitive, and it's going to be the best RCR has looked since Harvick was there. Plus, Richard will allow Kyle Busch to run the Indy 500, so I'm super stoked about that. So, I'm going to wrap this up. What's y'all thoughts on Joe Gibbs just letting Kyle Busch walk away so easily? Because, like I said, it's clear that Joe Gibbs and Toyota didn't put a max effort into trying to resign Kyle Busch. That's it for me. I'm going to go ahead and roll up out of here. Y'all have a good one.
Peace.